What's up guys, Shams11, welcome back to Two Point Hospital. Something a little different today. Um, I'm going to be doing hopefully some tips for you guys as requested via my Twitter, so I hope this helps. Um, as you can see we've got a few hostels here that are done to three stars. I'm not massively through this, there's, there's other people that are doing better than me. I, I'm not claiming I've got all the answers, but I have some answers. Now a lot of people are having trouble with Mitten University because it's massively on research and teaching and has the cult that we haven't experienced before. Um, as you can see, look, there's loads more to do. I'm, like I say, I'm no expert, but I've managed to kind of crack this one. So I thought I'd just kind of show you what's going on. It's a level 21 hostel as well. So for those that are going for achievements and trophies, um, I do believe, there we go, we have a level 20 hospital. First things first, let's pause this and uh, have a look around. So it's it's a big hospital. Um, there's lots of buildings you can buy. I've bought all of them now. By no means did I start off life like this. Uh, you start off here. And this is where I originally had two little reception desks, two GP rooms, um, and pretty much everything else is the same. Nothing's particularly changed. I think I've added an extra toilet and moved something. Now I think about it. Um, but don't be afraid to chop and change your hospital as needed as it gets bigger as you start getting more money now the key to this hospital is training 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 and some more training i have an utterly enormous training room here i know that looks like overkill and originally this was my first training room which as you can see i still use it has room for four people to train at any one time now what you've got to remember is your junior staff are going to cost you money they're going to cost you lives just accept that people are going to die you will hear during the recording of this video multiple people dying it just happens um, but they need to be trained up it's very simple to do you build one of these rooms if you can try and get these bad boys and the skeletons because they help research um, but yeah all this stuff kind of helps with with training ignore that snowflake falling down oh, there it goes um, you need to train your staff up in diagnosis, in quick training, um, and you need to then think about specializations for certain rooms. So you need somebody that can manage your ward. You need a few of them because they will switch shifts. Um, you need to have diagnosis experts in these rooms. Um, there's a GP course you can go on to help these guys. Psychiatrists, just make pretty much everybody a psychiatrist and try and get psychiatry two and psychiatry three. Um, you need people that can work needles on you know, the old jab master, that will be a necessity. Um, you need experts in certain things. After a while, once you start expanding, you'll start getting cues for your reception. As you get more and more reputation, as you can see in the bottom right, mine is now full. It wasn't for a long time. Don't be afraid to get rid of them and build a proper reception area. I can hold three receptionists here. It keeps queues down. Um, yes, there are some here. Someone's just come back off a break, so that will clear. That with three desks has never been an issue. My money, by the way, you will see fluctuate massively. I have huge overheads at the moment, um, but thankfully quite large incomings. Speaking of which, on this map, every time you successfully train somebody, except that, we will get five thousand dollars so that is another reason to train people it's a bit tricky trading you have to bear in mind that using your own staff to train is free and won't cost you to hire a trainer and won't cost you to train individuals but you will lose staff so you will lose potentially four staff who are training and one staff who is lecturing and that's when bad get out of it bad things start happening in your hospital if you hire out it's going to cost you ten thousand dollars just to get this guy to train you i have a guest trainer because i can afford it um, and it's also going to cost you depending on what level of training five ten thousand per person who's learning um, so it's a big expense but you don't lose a member of staff as many so it's pros and cons they will also teach at different rates. If you train your staff up to be fast learners, training masterclass, he has 50% teaching speed and 50% learning speed, so he can teach people quicker. The other side to this is, as people learn, they will get promoted. So they will go up to consultants, they'll be juniors, they'll be trainees. Most of mine, I have a few students, most of mine will be trained up by now. 
as they go up, they're gonna cost more money. Now, don't be afraid of that. Keep them happy, keep them to that minimum happiness level. You can set that up to be automatic. If you go across down here into your overview, you can, again, tab along to policies. Now, this is a big money saver. Diagnosis threshold for treatment. The diagnosis certainty required for a patient to be sent for treatment. Lower diagnosis certainty results in a reduced chance of treatment success. So they don't have to necessarily be 100% diagnosed with something before you start treating them. If you lose this and lower it down, yes, your patients will clear out your GP rooms quicker because, and your other testing rooms quicker because they won't need as many machines and as many different areas to treatment they need, but you've got more chance of them dying. Now dying doesn't greatly matter about your reputation on this map. It will, however, mean they're not going to pay you. So the higher you raise that, the more chance you have, but you've got to be able to have enough testing equipment. I do. Q warning length is how many you need to warn you. Six is fine. That's the default. Now, this is quite important. Fast track treatment decision. Allow diagnosis staff to send patients directly for treatment when their certainty is above the threshold without going back to a GP. So normally, once they got to 100% or close to 100%, they then go back to the GP. So they've seen a nurse or they've seen a doctor in another room. They then have to go back to a GP to be told where to go. With this, they don't go back to that GP again. So it skips out another load of work for the GP to do, which is vital. Now, this is quite a handy one. Um, promote staff automatically. Not only does it cut out the bother of having to do it, which you'll do a lot on this map, but it will give them the default pay rise needed to keep them happy. And you do want to keep them happy. However, don't do the mistake I did and start raising everybody's pay because I, it just caused an absolute nightmare. As you can see down in the bottom right at the moment, my revenue is more than my expenses. I have huge amounts of expenses, um, but thankfully I have lots of money coming in and because I constantly, constantly train people. Now, most of the stuff that you can train, you will slowly start to unlock as it goes on. Somebody's just failed and died. There you go, told you people die. You can also research stuff. Now this map, you need to research a certain amount to get to the one, two and three stars. Um, but you can, of course I can't show you because it's, it's actually active, but you can research faster research. You can also research other rooms and upgrades for those rooms. You can do all that here. So just constantly keep someone researching. You will need to hire an outside guest trainer to teach you something brand new. Um, he's not learning something brand new, but I think this guy actually is. Big prize is still up for I don't think anyone else has learned. Try your luck in yes, psychiatry three. Now again, not only as they get promoted, do they become better at what they're doing. As you go to Psychiatry 2, as you go to Psychiatry 3, they become more efficient at it. Now what that means is that they will generally heal people straight away, especially miserable people like this guy. Um, they will also do it quicker, they won't spend as long in the rooms, and that will keep your cues down. It's all about keeping the cues down. And not only that, like I say, don't be afraid to move rooms around. As you start getting more money and can unlock stuff, you can move rooms. So you can just select a room, um, go to edit and you can pick it up and move it around if you really want um, you can also expand rooms you can add on quite easily so we could yeah, get out of it uh, we can add some rooms on and make them bigger now why would you want to do that quite simply you want to keep the prestige UV rooms up high why do you want to keep them up high? Because people like them better, they become more efficient, the staff like using them more, your staff are happier, they'll work harder, they'll work smarter. Now you might have noticed, I have windows everywhere and then I have posters in front of the windows and they're behind the stuff. Now I don't know if that's allowed or not, um, if it's something they're going to change, but look how many duplicated items I have in this room and it is a Prestige 5 room. Now a big part of keeping everybody happy um, especially on this map it seems they love toilets you will see I have toilets all over the place and not only that everybody's always moaning they're thirsty I have drinks machines I have snacks machines I have sweet dispensers I have entertainment nobody particularly moans they're bored they do in these big queues of like 9, 10 plus people but you will see I have drinks machines and I have toilets everywhere 
Okay, so another thing I do to keep everybody happy is hand sanitizers. Everybody loves a hand sanitizer. The doctors love it, the nurses love it, the patients love it. It keeps everything nice and green and healthy all over the place in your hospital. Um, I have them dotted around, there you go, everywhere. You can also put them in pretty much every single room. You can see how green my hospital is. Um, and finally, the other thing that everybody um, will notice and is different is you need radiators. Everywhere has to be heated. You don't want shivering staff, you don't have to have boiling hot staff. Now, if you go down here and go into info, you can look at the temperature in your hospital. And you can see that everywhere is yellow. Yellow to maybe white in a few places around the edges here. I'm not too happy with that edge, but I can't fit a radiator in there. Um, and you can see in some rooms, uh, especially the bigger ones, I have more than one radiator. Uh, that, that's okay, that's fine. You don't want it too hot. You don't want it boiling, boiling hot. This is as hot as you want it. The other thing to do is don't worry too much about aesthetics all the time. While, of course, it is nice if you want to get rid of that. Sorry, just, just go back and unclick it again. Um, if you want to keep things realistic and nice, then yes, you probably wouldn't have a moose head and a seat right there. Um, you also wouldn't have a radiator in the middle of the room, but I needed it. I needed this middle of the room to work, to be warm. Staff will find work. They will keep themselves busy, but you will be training a lot. So you will need way more staff staff than you think on this map unfortunately it's wages I know the other thing is staff will just fill a room that needs filling irritatingly so not always the best person will be in the right place so that guy is just a general GP that's fine this guy is a quick learner but he can also do research really he should be in his research room and just a general doctor be over there it's okay for me because I have enough even though this guy <laughs> she's currently escaping because she's on a break um, sometimes you will irritatingly find a guy that is super highly trained in psychiatry is in a GP's room and a standard GP is wandering around finding work to do and you know your nurse who's a specialist in needles is you know, over here and vice versa just pick them up just move them around it's quite simple you just pick up a nurse and you stick them in a room where you want them to work they'll just carry on and figure it out um, I think he was quite happy where he was so we'll put him back there I don't think he was particularly needed anywhere um, you'll also need more reception staff than you think because you'll want to keep this ticking over as you get busier someone else has just died especially if you've unlocked these little kiosks um, that sorry is your name Koo Goop that's not a real name so Bert here is working at my news agents um, this this makes you money so uh, it keeps people entertained so you'll need a few um, you don't need tons it's probably the least you need um, but as you can see I have uh, 74 staff as I mentioned previously um, if you go over here you can increase everyone's pay satisfaction which is what I did if you press X you can increase pay by 1% and I kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it and um, <laughs> look at my wages, 1.9 million a year I spend in, in wages, which is a little bit scary. So I offset that with training, 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 which we can do right now. So you can see important ones are things like diagnosis, psychiatry, um, and these are for your specialists. So I've got four people trained in pharmacy. Those people should always be in a pharmacy, an injection administration. Even, even these guys, I've got nine people capturing ghosts because I always kill people can't help it 41 people are trained in training master class two aren't i could probably work on that general practice 15 percent diagnosis skill in the gp's office that is huge now i don't want to lose all my doctors so i am rich i have plenty of money but you can see it's going to cost me ten thousand dollars and five thousand per trainee dr bartholomew beads and dr alex bog are going to learn this and we start training by pressing y or triangle or whatever the hell button it is on switch um, and just keep these going just make sure someone is always learning something and try and upgrade so um, I could go for this and this and this. Treatment two, um, that looks like it's a pretty good one. 10,000 plus 10,000. We're gonna get that going though, so our chief nurse after that will be our trainer. It's a huge out there and you can see my money has now dipped. I know I've still got 700,000, so it's not an issue. Someone else has died. Now, why don't I care that people are dying? Well, my reputation is still high. I'm still curing way more people than I'm killing. But actually, 
When we catch a ghost, it gives us 10 points towards our research pod. Now, this guy is a research two, and I have upgraded my research. Um, you can imagine how long this takes if you haven't done it. These seem to take forever and ever and ever to do. Um, so gaining those points through capturing ghosts is absolutely brilliant. The downside, of course, is that you have to train staff to capture ghosts. Train, 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 train. Now, a big issue you'll have early on is upgrading equipment. Um, I've got Drug Mixer 3. These cost quite a bit to upgrade. You'll be looking at five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 to upgrade equipment. Now, that is a huge outlay, and I appreciate that. Um, and while you may be going, well, that 20000 can be better spent elsewhere, it is hugely important. Um, it, it, it makes things quicker. It makes things more accurate. There's less chance of some dying. Boom. Got it. Your janitors are pretty freaking lazy. Um, things will break, and like I say, they really love toilets being clean. So every now and then, just have a quick look down here and under the maintenance tab and check that everything is relatively okay. If it's yellow, it's not okay. And that includes things like watering plants. So just call somebody in, but you can always see there's always a toilet that's about to fill up and it doesn't take long. Um, you don't want machines exploding. So every room I build has a hand sanitizer and has a very white at the moment fire extinguisher. So call in everything. Your staff will prioritize as needed. They will sort, sort stuff out as needed. Um, generally, they're okay at most stuff, but um, they will need a little bit of, of pushing. Build a few staff rooms. Um, it's less distance for your staff to travel. So I think I've got three. Yeah, there's another one too. And then we've got uh, one up here, three. Um, so there we go. I hope this has helped. I'm sorry it's been a gibbering, blabbering mess. Um, hopefully I'll, I'll make this seem a bit more in, uh, coherent rather than incoherent. Hopefully you haven't got too sick with me whizzing around all over the place. Um, I'm sure other much more intelligent people will send and post stuff that I've forgotten or stuff that I don't know. I'm still learning this myself. You guys are probably further than me. But I've pretty much nailed this hospital. I'm three stars. I'm slowly making money. So take your time. There's no quick fix. Build more GP rooms than you think. Build more toilets than you think. Build more drinks dispensers than you think. Let me know what you think. Um, if there's something else you want to see, something else you want to know, leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer. Come find me on Twitter. I'm Shambles11 on pretty much everything, and I'll do my best to help you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Till next time. Bye 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 bye.